It's a long time. Okay, what is up, Emily? It's me, Emma Jane from Emma Jane TV. Yes. Uh. Mm. I want to apologize to you, all, you all, to everyone, because um, one, I haven't been doing as much videos as I wanted to do. Two, I've been really busy. And yeah, I wanted to do it yesterday and the day before, but I couldn't because I have family to deal with. I have been doing with family with the half, the past half of this year, actually. So here I am. So I'm back. I'm back. So we're going to do this video finally. My, K my top 10 K-pop songs from January to June. I want to apologize for this long-awaited video. Um, again, family, my needs to be, my, some of the needs that needs to be completed and free. Job, my job, yes, job. Job has been taking over my life kind of a bit this year. So I'm here, basically. I'm back. Now, we are going to do it now, finally. Oh, yeah. So, let's get into it. Yes, let's crack on. Let's crack on. Okay, so, before I even start, the only, the only thing I was able to do while I was struggling with life, that was pretty much everywhere on my on my edges i was able to do at least k-pop stories that i write online so yeah that's the only thing so okay that's what i wanted to say right <clears throat> we're gonna start on number 10 number 10 is aoa excuse me i like this was like the first song of the year i really like the song because it sounds mysteriously that kind of Sherlock kind of Sherlock Sherlock Holmes esque kind of thing going on, and it was the last time that we were going to see Choa in AOA and seeing Jimin as Jimin. But anyways, uh, I like the excuse me, excuse me. I got the song. I still got it in my song in my phone. Uh, on my playlist. It's a fun song. It's a very make you want to move like AOA. I like this one more than Bing Bing. Bing Bing was good, but this one was like different. I like it. I like I like this one more. So yeah. If you want to see Chua just move her hips, just go watch it. <laughs> Alright, so number nine, we have Shinwa Touch and 17 Don't Don't Wanna Cry. Oh, these videos. Ooh. Two different categories. Uh, excuse me if I have more and one singer because that's me. Again, I love majority of these songs anyways. <clears throat> uh, yeah. These songs, sorry, I, I hate yawning. I hate yawning. Yawning needs to stop. Uh, I like Shinwa's touch because I didn't expect the beat drops. The beats that were in this song is ah, sorry, and they look so good. <laughs> uh, grown ass man, uh. <laughs> and they were really good. The song was really good. It was ah, oh, it's kind of oh, it's so good. I, I can't explain. It's still my playlists when i feel like listening to them it's just especially i got my loudspeaker that i take it to work and i put it in the kitchen and people that listen to my k-pop songs some of that some are who are k-pop fans enjoying listening to these kind of songs because ah oh, yes especially shinra mm. right and with it tied with it is of course 17 don't want to cry it's such a different take on for 17 
everything about it was so good, especially the choreography to from the song to the choreo- choreography. Everyone sang. Every one of them sang their heart off. So it was less rapping, but it was more of the singing and the vocals were amazing. They they sounded amazing, every single one of you. It was like, oh my god, the bait <sighs> it's it's really good. So we're gonna move on. That's why I just loved everything about it. Alright, so moving on to to number eight is SES Paradise and Zion T the Song. Again, another tide. <sighs> SES, I knew, I kind of knew that they, that SM had other groups that are still on their contract with SM. And there's a, a couple groups that still exist, that is still like on a hiatus or some, on some along the line. So SES was one of them. So I did knew that SES was the one who had a original song called... Um, be natural, which was covered later in the years by, uh, by Red Velvet. If you remember that video, so yeah, so yeah, they they're the one, they're the original. Oh, stop yawning. <sighs> okay, so Paradise was amazing. I was shocked of seeing the girl group, uh, the members, not the girl group, the members of this group, SES. Wow. They looked really good. I mean, for their age, kudos to you, good ladies, because majority here in England, uh, except for me, uh, they look like really old people. By the time they're forty, they don't. They look like older than their age, but <clears throat> you could tell that these these ladies were. They don't look like they look younger than their age. I mean. The actual age, I mean, wow, that's amazing. So, the song was kind of disco-like, kind of snipes pop, kind of 80s, kind of, they all in one. I don't know, it's just good. It sounded so good. It was colourful, the video was colourful. And they looked really good, I was like, hmm, interesting. So, let's move on. I hate we on in is Zion T, which is tied with uh, SES. You know I love me some Zion T. Of course, I love me some Zion T. I love him two bits. The song, the song. This, this, mm, the song is everything right now this year. I mean, I went for those who don't know or kind of know if you saw my Snapchat comps compilations uh on my youtube channel um oh actually you are on my youtube channel so of course the uh i can't speak i can't explain um yeah obviously for those who do know they saw some glimpse of my videos on snapchat um i went to see him live uh this, earlier this year and it was worth my money it was worth everything about every single cent Every single, every single penny that I had was invested to this. I was, it was worth everything. It was everything that I ever imagined or even more. Or the way people described it when they went to see him on KCON. This was, wow. And his interaction with the fans is amazing. So, good thing he actually sang the song live. I was like, so good, so good. And plus, of course, the classic songs. I'm sorry, too. I hate yawning. I hate yawning. And when I'm speaking, I hate yawning. Alright. I hate when I yawn. I hate it so much. Because I'm talking and I, and I lose track of what I'm going to say. So, again, it was, a, it was worth my money. Especially this song. This song was amazing. It was so... Especially live, it was just oof. I still got the song on my phone, or every anything to do with Zion T. 
they're on my phone. So that's all. Yeah, let's move on. All right. So moving on to seven, number seven is June K, No Shadow, Ravi Bomb, Icon B Day. Yeah, three in one place. These songs, trust me, these songs were everything this year that I still remain listening to them to this day non stop. Right. Drink K, No Shadow, again, just like. Shinwa, it was the beats. The beats were everything. I was like, dude, this is great stuff. The man, hmm, you know this man is like, oh god, he's grown as man. Hmm, 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 Junke. I know Junke is not the best looking guy, but whew, his voice, lord, sexy. <laughs> I mean the vocals, but oof, Jesus, he could take me away. <laughs> but yeah it was the beat it was amazing Ugh. can you stop yawning I'm speaking here is it because I'm lying down kind of it could be that too which is annoying I don't have to get comfortable because right again so the song was amazing everything about the video was pretty colourful kind of Fuggy kind of color, but I liked it. I liked everything about it. It was amazing, so it was worth my time. Ravi, now let's move on to Ravi. Now Ravi's bomb again, colorful. I did not expect. I uh, it was, of course, the name says it bomb. For me, it was a bomb because I did not expect Ravi to actually drop his own mixtape at any point. I thought, well, actually, no. He did drop, like, last year, but I didn't expect him to drop an MV. Because if you remember last year, there was no MV for his mixtapes. They were there. I knew he was going to somehow... Again, why am I yawning? It's 1pm. I'm not supposed to yawn. I'm so, sorry, I hate yawning. It's just actually two. Okay, so... I did, again, I did not expect him to drop an MV for his mixtapes at any point because I was like, okay, if he's, if he's going to drop another mixtape, I'm guaranteed it's not going to be another MV. But no, I was wrong. There was an MV for this one. <laughs> there was an MV for this one. And boy, it was worth my time looking. He had choreography. Ravi had red hair. <clears throat> there was Tan E. It was... It was great. Oh, it was great. Mm. Again, I must be uncomfortable. Am I uncomfortable here sitting? Like, ugh, it's so annoying. Because I feel like yawning again. I hate it. All right, moving on to Icon. Um, Icon, of course, B Day. Of course, I like B Day more than Bling Bling. I don't know why. But I did like Bling Bling. Don't get me wrong. I do like it. I still got a lot on my phone. But it was, with Bling Bing, I think it was a beat drop that kind of sounds great. Why am I yawning? <laughs> That's why, I, I sorry if I moved my camera away. I've, I knew I was going to yawn. I just hate yawning. And I'm tearing up because I'm yawning. I hate yawning. This yawning is annoying. So, B-Day, on the other hand, of course, the name says it, B-Day, um, was different of course it was different uh it was meant to be different a little bit but it was great it did remind me reminded me a little well it's not different because it reminded me of um the beat reminded me of um dama 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 that's what it was that kind of craziness going on like go go, go cuckoo yeah that was it but it was good. I liked it. I still got it on my phone. And of course, Dumb and Dumb is still there. All the songs of Icon are there. So, so it's great. Let's move on. Okay, so let's move on to number six. Of course, two more. Hello Venus, Mysterious, and CLC, Hobgoblin. Two different genres. Well, two, of course, two girl groups with two style of music i love it a lot especially 
Hello Venus Mysterious. It was of course mysterious. It did again. It was just similar to just like AOA's um excuse me. It was mysterious. It had that Sherlock Holmes kind of feel to it. And I like it. Now CLC caught, caught me off guard. I did not expect them to to go to that direction and they all looked amazing. And for those who know, Soren is like my bias in this group. Um, excuse me. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay, as I was saying, um, again, with Hopper Goblin, it was different. It was a different take for CLC. Excuse me. Again, sorry. Interruptions. I don't want any more interruptions. I don't want any more yawning. Um, I was saying it was a different take on the group. It was a different take for for the whole entire concept, as I must say, especially in the MB. I didn't expect it this much, but you can tell that what I heard was that um, the song and the choreography I believe it was written and choreographed by Hyanna. Because if it was that, then it makes sense. But we will see what COC will do in the future. So, yeah, that's all I can say. Okay, so on number five is, of course, my husband, who I went to see this year as well, Dean. Mm -hmm. With his song "Love," this song is everything. Of course, it was um, I believe it was this was English, English or Korean, but either way, it was a great song. It was a great feel song. <sighs> okay, so for those who don't know, Dean does stuff to mm, oh, mm, I need I need. <laughs> I need to clutch my corrupt pearls because he is everything. Okay, he is everything that that really comes to mind. Uh, it was great. It was great. And hear him, hear him sing live the song. It was a, it was worth my money. So, kudos for Dean. That's what I can say. Kudos for Dean. Okay, so moving on to number four. Number four is actually God Seven, Never Ever, and BTS Not Today. Yes, I know. My two favorite groups are Fourth Days, but then again, so much things has happened, and BTS has been nominated for for many things internationally. So I'm proud of them where they're going for. But you know, you know, <clears throat> they all did well. Every single one of them. It was amazing what they did, especially God Seven uh, with their comeback. It was amazing. It was colorful. I uh, didn't expect. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of life ruiners like, like Yon, uh, like yeah, a bit of Yon Jay, um, Yu Gi Oh, and Bam Bam. Mm. <sighs> Those kids need to stay away. <laughs> I mean, in a good way. I mean, not in a bad way. I mean. Dude, I'm just like a Nuna. I don't want to be like this pedophile Nuna in any way, in any circumstances. I just don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get ruined. And yeah, that's all I can say about that. But overall, the whole entire MV was great. Yeah, that was great. I mean, a different beat as well. So it was good job. With BTS, of course, BTS, you know that they're going to bring something new. Or not new, You got, BTS will be BTS. <laughs> they will come up with something and they will just destroy people's lives and greatness. And there you are. <clears throat> I mean, congrats to BTS. I mean, BTS, one of the best social artists um, on the billboards. They won the best boy group in... Um, Kids Choice Mexico and now they're nominated for the best fandom in Kids Choice Colombia so please vote for them and it's until the September the 30th so start voting <laughs> start voting so yeah what else can I say that's it I guess I mean everything about the MVs to the choreography <sighs> to the songs amazing
they're both amazing, so I love them all, so greatness, greatness. Right, moving on to the next one, the third place goes to Twice, Knock Knock and Signal, sorry, Twice, Knock Knock and Signal and Vic Shang Shang Shangri-La. That's how I pronounce it. Shangri La. Those two MVs. Of course you got you, of course you can't really kick out twice in this top ten because when it comes to twice, you know twice is going to come up with a very kick ass choreography that you would remember for the rest of your lives and the songs that are that you remember for the rest of your lives. And you know when it comes to Vicks, kings of concepts is vix you know this from the get-go i know this from the get-go ever since i guess superhero kind of or on and on you know that they will come up something new something fresh something creative create creative and artistic <clears throat> and what they did to this song especially the choreography if you've seen the mv and you've seen them live it's such beauty it's the choreography is art. Everything they did was art. Every single movement they did is art. Every single special effects in that MV was art. It was beautiful. Every single set that they had on on the MV was art. It was just gorgeous. It was just all oh, magnificent. Everything about it. I loved it. I loved it very much. I mean, whew. Jesus, not have mercy. And I still got the songs in my on my playlist. Of course, Vix is Vix, so it will be on my loudspeaker at work. So <laughs> actually twice as well, so <laughs> Okay, second place. <laughs> I didn't expect this, but hey, they deserved it. I mean, this whole half of this year have to go all to them because they have did us justice of what a boy band should be and we're gonna give this to day six the all i would say all of the songs that he did from january to june it was oh my god oh my goodness y'all y'all need to give some love to the this boy band because this is a boy band again this is a boy band that plays instruments and only sings. Yeah, that's a boy band. And this is what I... Mm, oh, everything about it was great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's all the greatness. It's just beautiful. It's just amazing. I loved the songs. I loved the MVs that they pulled out. All the half of the year. I mean, they got to continue until... December obviously from July to to December so I'm waiting and I'm pretty much excited so <clears throat> can't wait can't wait can't freaking wait oh my god so uh, yeah I... <sighs> sorry I am really happy that they just they got to second place because they deserve it so much I mean they deserve all the love from most K-pop fans, I mean, I know you K-pop fans are into more boy groups that dance and rap and all of this. But if you give this group, this bad boy band, a chance, you're gonna love them. I mean, I know this, this, the 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 love of this boy band right now this year is slowly growing because if you know, Cindy Kid didn't expect to actually feel kind of Loki destroyed by slowly feeling killed by day six because it's beautiful everything about their vocals is just gorgeous and rich and it's just oh my god i don't know i can't explain because the songs that they bring is it brings life to to everything that they have released so far so i'm glad that they, they released more this year because they really deserve it. i was like bro i mean where's day six i mean if i was like last year i think two years ago when they released the when they debuted two years ago i was like i can see this group's got potential i so far it's the song was like wow it's kind of nice something of congratulations when they first released congratulations i was like 
this boy group's going this boy band is going to go far i don't know how but it's going to go far and beyond and look at where they are they're still going strong and uh, it's not because it's jyp but slowly it's getting more love and love and love bit by bit so i'm going to see more of day six i hope hopefully and yeah see what happens and now we reach finally reach to first place first place finally and you're all going to be shocked well not actually shocked actually because to me this is number one if you don't agree that's fine i mean everyone has their own different taste what is their number one from january to june 2017 k-pop songs the top 10 k-pop songs for me it was NCT 127 Cherry Bomb. Oh, bejesus, bro. Now, no one cannot say the song was crap because this song was was everything. Sorry, I keep doing this. I don't know why. Uh, everything about it was great. It was greatness. Greatness. Everything about it was the, from the beat drop, from the choreography, from... The boys, from every single the the mem from the members from the special effects, the colors, everything about it. Even don't get me started. The whole entire album, bro, I am floored. I am literally floored. Everything about it was great. If you haven't heard the whole entire album from NCT One Two Seven from Cherry Bomb, you're missing out because oh lord, it was so freaking good. Sorry. Uh, I need a moment. I had a moment. I had a had a cry moment. I had a cry moment. I had a crisis moment because this whole entire album, including Cherry Bomb, I know there's two versions. You got the performance version and Cherry Bomb normal version, which is great. And you and the rest of the album, which my brain is scrambled to remember, apart from Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon is great. Oh my god. Mm. And oh, it's just oh, it's messing with my mind. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I, I'm fangirling because I'm slowly becoming an NCT, not just NCT 127. I think NCT U is one of them that kind of low key wrecked me slowly till now. And then NCT 127 just. Pfft, this year, I mean, the ch fire fire track was great, especially the rest of the songs in the album. <gasps> I was doing so well without yawning. <laughs> uh, was great, but this year with NC NCT One Two Seven with Cherry Bomb was when I when if you I don't know I know it's on private for now, but when I did reaction to um. <coughs> To NCT one two seven cherry when I did Cherry Bomb's um um reaction, I was floored because I did kind of knew that this song the title says this is gonna wreck you for life, and it did it it did its justice. I knew that it was go it was going to wreck me in an emotional way, and I'm glad it did. So that is all. That is all I can say about it. Yeah. Okay, so that was my top 10 of this year's of, from January to June 2017, K-pop, my top 10 K-pop songs, and it was fun. I know it's a bit late, but it was fun having to witness all this greatness of these music that is keep coming up in the world of K-pop. I mean, how much has have it has progressed as it, as it is, I mean... You have seen so much creativity, not just making music just to get views, but being shown, you've seen them how much they've worked, especially some of the artists that you know they're going to do something fresh, do something very creative, write something like a poem. Like like BTS is one example. Uh, artistically is Vex. And just basically throwing you to the edge of the cliff 
NCT127, uh, making you distraught of of life, BAP, making you do movements that you would never expect to do in your life, twice. You know, it's, it's this is what K-pop is all about: is having fun, enjoying music in general in in the world of K-pop without fan wars at all. Yeah. Oh boy, so that's what I could say about it. Uh, I loved everything about this this half of this, this year. So I hope you liked what you saw in this like January to to June. Uh, please comment down below what was your top ten and share without any wars or harsh comments so that is all i love you all and you and everyone and sarang hell